here we are then at chapter 14 the last in the book okay fair few videos done for this looking at mixed exercise 17 questions i think and the challenge question in this exercise so we should make a start okay then so question 1a they simply want us to sketch the following graphs labeling all intersections and isotopes okay um so first one is y equals 2 minus x okay so what does that look like taking a graph x y let's think about some key moments on this when y well when x is equal to zero y will equal one so we know it's going to go through here at one okay the next thing we need to consider is what's going to happen to it as it continues on through does it go up does it go down where does it go if you're not sure put in a couple of uh, points you know um, you could do x is equal to minus 10 x is equal to minus 5 x is equal to 0 x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 10 just so you can get a rough idea of what happens when you put them into it and thus you get your y values and from that you can just join them up simply or carefully to get an idea of what's going on okay so this of course is going to be 2 minus minus 10 so this is this is um, 2 divided by uh, not 2 divided by x at all it is 1 over 2 to the power x so if you do 2 to the power of minus 10 in there okay 2 to the power of minus 10 inverts it again makes it a positive 2 to the minus minus 10 is a plus 10 2 to the power of 10 is ultimately with the calculator gone to the power of 10 a ridiculously high number of 1024 when we do it for 2 to the power of minus 5 again it becomes a plus 5 so 2 to the power of 5 is 32 we know it goes through 1 at this point and now when we come through here we end up with x uh, 2 to the power of minus 5 so 2 to the power of minus 5 is 1 32 and this is 1 1024 so when we're on 10 say and then 5 we're way up here in the thousands then we're down here in the 32s when you're on the 5 then you're through the 1 then on the 5 you're like 132 and on the 10 you're right down here so you can see there you've got the line now because this is a sketch and they only want where it crosses for isotopes on that um, we don't need any of them they're just there to give us an idea of what this looks like so take all of them out otherwise it's completely wrong for your scales and then simply draw the line in now that you know it comes down here like this and scales off like that y x and we have an isotope here of y equals zero this is one that's it for that one okay what about the next ones question b i suppose y equals 5 e to the x y equals 5 e to the x minus 1 okay so again when x equals 0 then y will equal as it comes through here x being 0 is going to be 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so we are going to be going through the origin with that one okay um are we no we're going to be 5 times 1 no because i haven't multiplied 5 
times 1 minus 1, so we're actually going to be going through 4. So we're going to have a point here of 4. There we are. Now then, because of this minus 1, it's dropped a bit. So what happens when you have 0 equals 5e e to the x minus 1? Well, ultimately, we have a 1 fifth is equal to e to the x, and so we have the natural log of a fifth is equal to e. So we can label this one up here. Uh, it's equal to x, sorry. Equal to x. Uh, this is the ln of one fifth, okay? And the ln of one fifth, okay? is minus 1.6, okay? So, minus 1.6. And so basically, as this one comes through, it curls up here and goes through there, and it disappears off like that. Um, now, we do have an isotope on that one as well, because if this didn't have the minus one on it, it would have stopped at zero. And so we end up then with the isotope here, of basically y equals minus 1. Okay, final one then of these is y equals ln of x. Okay, so again, what happens when x is 0? The ln of 0 doesn't exist, so that gives us an isotope right there of x equals 0. Okay, because the ln of 0 is equal to not possible. Okay, so what about when y equals 0? So when y equals 0, this equals the ln of x, and so we end up then with e to the power 0 is equal to x, meaning 1 is equal to x. So at this point here, we are 1, and so we are coming through here like that. Now then, does it get to the top of anything there? No, I don't think it does. Keep on going. Right. That should be it for those three. Let's go have a look at question two. Question two then. Express the log of A of P squared Q in terms of log a p and log a q. Okay, so what can we say here? These two things are multiplying, which means we have the log of a p squared plus the log of q log a q because when you add them together you can multiply them and now we can do something with the squared we can take it out and we can say 2 log of a p plus the log of a q and that should be it for that one okay part b then is given that the log of p, so we're told that the log to the base a p q is equal to 5, and the log of a p squared q is equal to 9, Find values for the log a and p. 
So, considering we can split them up with a plus, what I'm going to say here, just to simplify things out, is I'm going to say that the log of a p is equal to, let's go with x, and the log of a q is equal to y. And so I can say x plus y equals 5. And on this one, it's 2x plus y equals 9. Set of simultaneous equations there for us to solve very quickly. y equals 5 minus x, therefore 2x plus 5 minus x is equal to 9. So we end up with x is equal to 4. Putting that back in, we can say y is equal to 5 minus 4, y is equal to 1. Rewrite them out so that the log base A, which letter did I do first, P, is equal to 4, and the log A Q is equal to 1. Okay. Question 3. Given that P equals the log of Q to the 16, expressed in terms of P, oh, P equals, yeah, okay, expressed in terms of P, log, the log of Q, 2. So in terms of P, well, I guess we want to make that into a sort of 2, don't we? So how can we write 16 as a 2? We can do 2 times 8, or we can do 2 times 2. It's 4 times 2 times 2. So we can write this out as log of Q to the 16 is equal to the log of q to 2 to the power of 4. I'm fairly certain. Okay. Um, so 2 to the power of 4 is 16, which means we can say it is equal to 4 times the log base q 2. So this is equal to P divided by 4. I think I've got that right. P divided by 4. Because if that's that one, that equals P. We want it to be equal to that. Yeah, divided by 4. That seems to make sense. All right. Um, and then part B. Uh, what do we have? The log of Q 8 Q Do I want to give this into some sort of base there? So that's going to be the log of base Q 8 plus the log of Q, Q, looks weird, um, and this one becomes the log of Q 2 to the power 3, which means it's 3 log Q 2 plus, plus log Q to the Q is just 1. So it's just 1. Coming back up here, we've got a P is equal to 4 times log. So I'm 3 of those 4. So is it 3 quarters of P plus 1? So 
we end up with it being it is equal to three quarters of p plus one to finish off. Um, yes. Is that question three already? Excellent. All right.